Okay, so this screencast is just to help you uh, get familiar with the exercise for week two. Um, and we'll just show you how to get set up and get going uh, with this exercise. Okay, so the first time you encounter it, um, you need to uh, follow the link to the Euclid Exercise 2 endpoint. And we come to this web page once it loads. The first thing you have to do uh, is to choose a repository up here in the top right. Um, we select Music Brains, it's the only option. Um, and then we click on Sparkle at the top. Uh, and this brings us up uh, with a Sparkle window um, and an example query uh, already typed in. Um, so unlike the exercise in the first week, this is running off um, the Music Brains uh, data, so we don't actually have to provide our own um, RDF uh, in this case, so we don't have to worry about writing triples, about Euclid, or about Barry, or, or about yourself. The data is already there. Um, and the aim of this is just to give you something uh, where you can play around with the queries that we cover um, in the course material. So I'm going to copy this one uh, from uh, the step about uh, Sparkle select queries. And I'm just going to paste that in here. And if we click run down here, then it wears away for a little bit. And we get this table um, below uh, with the data. So if we um, look at this query, we're selecting um, an album as a variable and a title where uh, the Beatles have made the album, so albums by the Beatles, uh, where the album is of type um, signal group, so it's some kind of uh, recording, um, and where the album has a title that we assign to this variable title. Okay, um, And we see here below a list in the table of albums, so this is their URIs. Um, and the, the associated title um, of that album. Okay. So throughout the week, we encourage you to um, try out the various uh, queries that you encounter in the course and use this um, workbench to, um, to see how they work and to see how you can um, modify things uh, and, and change the results. To, and this will help you understand um, how you can use Sparkle for your own needs. So as an example, um, in the next step you will encounter um, the order by keyword, which lets you order um, results. Um, so uh, you will discover that the syntax, syntax looks like this, order by um, and then a variable. So we will do it by title. And if we now click run, we get exactly the same uh, data, um, but we have now um, ordered it by uh, the album title. Okay, so we get it in alphabetical order. Um, there's always a few at the beginning, uh, which seem a bit out of place because they they begin with uh, numbers rather than uh, text. Okay, so that's a quick introduction to uh, the GraphDB workbench and how to do the exercises for week two. Hopefully, if you've had any um, problems getting started with the exercise, that will help you uh, get going for week two. Um, and the exercises in week three are, are exactly the same. They run on the same tool as well. Okay, thank you.